<sighs> you know, earlier in the walkthrough, I said that Tingle was okay in this game because, you know, he didn't make you pay out the wazoo with rupees. His tasks weren't all that tedious. But at the same time, I can't really stand by that statement because he gave me a terrible prize. I mean, just look at this thing. You can't do anything with it. You can't swing it at an enemy to hurt an enemy, maybe because it's made out of some very chalky, cheap material that would just explode on impact that doesn't do any damage. He just gave you a terrible prize for doing a long task of getting a hundred kinstones fused, and this is what he gives you. A statue in his likeness, of all things. <sighs> Tingle, once again. You disappoint me. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you can tell, I've been quite busy getting uh, Mysterious Shells. And uh, down by the figurine shop, I got 129 out of 130 figurines that you can get at this time, just as I said I would. So I am right on track to do post-game stuff, but first we gotta go through Dark Hyrule Castle. Well, I should say the other portion of it, because there's still quite a lot to go here and I don't have my sword equipped. Um, over here is a locked door, so uh, keep that in mind for a little bit later. Yeah, I'm just saying. For now we gotta go take this path and battle the many enemies that await us. Actually, it's, it's nothing really all that dangerous of an air. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> it's just one hit kill the moblin. Uh, I think this is the dead end over here. Oh no, it's not. Which way is the dead end? Then I need to find the dead ends first to make sure I am... Oh wow, I am getting confused. Okay, I'm not that confused. I'm just trying to remember my way through here and oh this is a dead end ah, I should have just went one screen further <laughs> uh, most of the rooms if uh, aren't really worried about like killing all the enemies because of the stuff like you don't get all that much stuff in them oh geez we got some bowling balls being rolled at us oh and uh, doesn't Ezel talk here yes perhaps your sword can reflect the blast coming from those statues <laughs> And they just regenerate. So, obviously what you gotta do is kill them all at once, as per the uh, hints by the panels being here. And there we go. Wait for it. Boop! yoo Aw, oh, it kinda popped. But that's okay. It's because my real self went down in the, the hole where the other ones went across the line. No, go away. I won't. I refuse to go back to the start, even though it's not that far away. Wow, that, this sword is really powerful. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, nothing. I thought there might be something there. You just never know. Oh, this is one of those things we gotta... Uh, you gotta hit all the panels, or say run over all the panels. And you can't go over the same panel twice. See what I did there? So you gotta turn them all red without touching the same panel. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Oops, I almost skipped over the edge one. Ah, that all worked out. There we go. It's not all that hard. There's a... I think there's more of those in this dungeon, if I recall correctly. So, wow, fairy drop. That's pretty rare. Uh, side note, actually, uh, about fairies. They don't recover all that much health in comparison to other Zelda games. Though in my inventory, I have a bunch of them. Uh, if you're not all that confident, you could go back to Syrup's Hut and pick up some red potions, which are 150 rupees apiece and uh, they recover all of your health, so they're probably a little bit better than fairies if you recognize when you need to use the potions, so to speak. Alright, let's careful- oh no no! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the other side. So yeah, oh, I'm so happy that I can charge up my sword a lot faster. Uh, if I go like here, it should be far- oh, I wasn't far enough over. Ah, these are so tricky, because I gotta make room for letting the trap go over, but at the same time, I can't, like, well, maybe leaving them in the center would be... Oh, that worked. <laughs> and it's a small key. And this, if you recall, leads back over to here. Yeah, this is the dead end that I uh, went to earlier. And... Wow, that was a oddly long hallway before the transition. And now we go up to the locked door. Yay! And this takes us downstairs. Uh, over here, 
Uh, I, I'm not gonna drop off there. I think that's actually a spot that leads over to the uh, map that I already got. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wizard robes, stop that. Tired of you shooting at me. Um, I forgot to try this a little bit earlier. I heard that wizard robes are all weak to the lantern, like it kills them in one hit, like all versions of the wizard robes for some reason. Look at that. Interesting. <laughs> I should try more stuff on more enemies. Like I'm, I'm, I'm primarily a sword user, as you can tell. It's just kind of my play style. But I really should try to experiment with more stuff uh, because I, I kind of miss stuff like that, and I end up making things harder than they actually are. Um, I'm, not, I'm not jumping down to any lower pathways, as you can tell, just yet because I need to. Uh, make sure that I'm not missing out on something, and I gotta pay attention to the um, uh, formation here. So, like this, 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 and this, right? And now we charge up the sword. Ah, voila! And those are gonna pop. Oh no, they didn't. Thought they're gonna pop. Oh geez, lots of Keatons. Lots of Keatons. They're not getting the center of them. Kill them off one at a time. Divide and conquer. Ow. Arr. Just ran right into sword. And obviously I'm going to get a prize this room. I think... Keyword think. It's the compass. Wait, well, I thought I got a prize. Or is this a... What? Ooh. I'm puzzled. What? Is this just a prize room of sorts? seems awfully suspicious. What? Mm, I'll come back to that later. Maybe that is a just a red herring dead end, but I doubt it. I'm just gonna hop off here because I'm sure I can come back through the castle later on anyway. Oh, there's the path to the elemental sanctuary. So that means I took a wrong turn because yeah, I'm back over here. Oh, poopers. Oh, you know what would be fast if I just saved and quit. <laughs> Although, maybe not. So, I'll just cut. Alright, let's try more stuff in this room. I'm clearly missing something. Maybe the wall that you can blow up or something is something that is actually something you can't tink, so to speak, with your sword. Maybe you can shoot these eyes? No, I didn't think so. Maybe you can walk through this wall? <laughs> Maybe you can plow through this floor? <sighs> no, that would, because that's an optional move. <laughs> Alright, something... I'm definitely missing something here. Whatever it is... Because the, the other paths uh, lead back to the uh, other floor, and that's pointless, because it, it's all... It's all just dead ends there. Well, it, it just leads back to this path, so it doesn't make any sense to discredit um, this room here. Hmm. But still, I mean, it, it, was something supposed to happen here that glitched? I don't know. <laughs> it seems kind of weird. I mean, I killed everything out of there. Nothing respawned. Hmm. Well, and this this is back over to the map, right? Yep, I was already here. And that, if you hop down there, it leads back to the fairies. And there, I cleared out the rest of the path, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! That's what I was forgetting. All right. New room. I'll pain. <laughs> Let me through. Let me through. Stop burning. There we go. And now... I'm suspicious of every wall. <laughs> uh, this looks like... Quote, unquote, looks like a dead end. Just be sure. Okay. Just wanted to check. Because you just never know. <laughs> I was wandering around for like 15 minutes or so. Oh, jeez. 
And uh, I just could not find anything until I came back to that room and started bombing walls like crazy. So that is what I indeed forgot to check was all the edges of the walls. See, when they uh, typically put a bomb on a wall, it's typically in the center of the room, so that threw me off. Uh-oh. I seen that shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Uh, uh, aha! I'll come back to that a little later. I just seen that shake, so I thought I would push it for now. And it's the compass! Woo! So that's the room I get the compass in, not the other one. It just looked like this, that a chest was going to appear in the middle of the room. Alright. I wonder if I should burn the gib, though. Maybe I'll just leave it. It's not hurting anyone. Oh, jeez! It's going to hurt me. <laughs> but it didn't. No big deal. Alright. I'm so suspicious of every wall now. <laughs> but I, I guess I'll cross that bridge if I need to, like, because... It would take forever to check every single wall and whatnot. Uh, hold on a sec. Well, none of these are pushable. Like, in the slightest. Oh, we're outside, aren't we? Yup. Woo! Oh, jeez. Should I be worried about that? Maybe. I think I'm too high to be hit by that, actually. Unless I just got uh, in between them. Oh, land. Thank you. As, as you know, down is death. Do not... Do not forget about that. I don't know why I'm bothering to kill you off. I guess just because uh, there don't, doesn't appear to be any further path. And it's not even tracking my position on the map. Interesting. Alright. Probably need this. I mean, it's here. <laughs> if it's here, it usually means I need it. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> There we go. And... Get out of my way. I have a princess to save. Well, I'm more concerned with 100%, but still. <laughs> um, should I land or should I try and go around? I'll try and go around. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I don't think... I mean, they probably hurt me, but it's it just seems like I'm out of their range. Maybe I have to be low enough to... I mean, low enough for them to hit me, or I'm just getting really lucky. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Never discount... I mean, never discredit luck as a possibility. Alright, I know I can go in there. I just want to see what's over here first. Because I'm on the outside. Oh, I could shoot that. Well, let's first go up the tower, just because I've seen that. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just I would check that just in case. So I could just shoot that with my sword if I was at full health, but alas, I am not. Ah! Okay, what's this? Probably something good. Okay, it's not that good. <laughs> it's a refill for the um arrow that you used, I suppose, but it's not uh, groundbreakingly good. Alright, for this... Corner... Corner... Tippy... Top. Right? Right. Alright! And with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here before I go into the big door and end up into something long. So, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.